to me. Yeah, and I like Anna. I'm not asking you to marry me, Kev. I just reckon we could both do with letting our hair down. You got the address. I'll be in the bar four o'clock. I hope you can make it. Well, I appreciate this all. Honestly, I really do, but I can't go doing classes. Making sugar mice and jewellery out of old tops, it's not really my thing. Well, I don't think you're sitting around brooding, are you? I won't be. Because I've only gone and got myself a job. What kind of job? Receptionist at the medical centre. <laughs> you don't like anything gory. I'll be taking the name, not the blood. Anyway, I thought you'd be pleased. I am pleased. It's brilliant. I, well, why didn't you say anything? Well, I was waiting for the official letter, but thanks for the thought. Yeah, no, no problem. Oh, listen, Mum, well done. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> I am proud of myself. And, you know, Deirdre is working that Well, so what's she done now? Oh, you are only looking at the medical centre's new receptionist. <laughs> You're going to love it, yeah. It'd be like working behind the bar, wouldn't it? So we sick people and uh, weird diseases. And... Hey, congratulations. I guess we might be seeing a bit more of one another. Yeah. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I feel better. Had a good chat with Jenny, so... Just hope it goes as well with Aiden. Flowers for me every time. No, I'm always chocolate. Yeah, well, like I say, two for one, can't go wrong. Well, I don't actually buy them for myself. That'd just be sad. It's a slippery slope, innit? Well, hopefully a nightly bar of whole nut won't uh, count. <laughs> See you later. OK, bye. And don't forget, spread the word. Dev is back in business. <laughs> Your idea, the uh, local... Well, no. uh, Norris is actually a bit inventive, don't you think? Well, yes, that's Norris's forte, yeah. invention. <laughs> Oh, and don't let the twins fill up on chocolates. There's a sausage casserole for their tea. Okie doke. Hi, Mary. There she is. As I was saying, Kath will be here as soon as she returns from the dentist. Caramel surprise. <laughs> One cracked molar. Cheerio. Bye. Kathy. Indeed. Because I am taking you for a well-deserved treat. Today? All day. Afternoon tea with champagne, followed I by... I can't. But you can't what? I, I'm going off to see a mate. We thought we might paint the town. Yeah, but Annie's booked. You know, I've booked it. And then I was going to take you to an art gallery and then... Since when have we ever gone to art gallery? Well, precisely, something new. And then drinks and a posh meal at that French place that you keep dropping hints about. But why? What do you mean? I don't need an excuse to treat my lady, do I? Well, to be honest, yeah, it's not exactly a regular occurrence, is it? Right, it's entirely my fault, and it's something that I am planning to rectify. And I wanted to say thank you, you know, for all your help with the flyers and everything. Okay. There's no need. I'm really sorry, but I've already promised. So who, who's this mate? Uh, Carrie, you've heard me talk about Carrie. Yeah, Carrie. And the thing is, uh, I haven't seen her for ages, so I'm probably going to stay over. OK, then, when you go, go and, go and have fun. I'm sorry. You deserve it. I'm not sure I got through to her, but... Oh, well, thanks for trying. Um, I'll be in touch. You know, that's why I split up with me, don't you? Look, he's a proud man, you know that. Last thing he wanted was us fussing over him and treating him like an invalid. He's got MS. I mean, I, I don't even know what it is. Not really. Look, he'll explain everything, but if we manage it properly... Uh, manage it how? Is he going to have to be in hospital or what? No. No, look, you're, you're overreacting. Uh, no, I'm not. 
I'm looking out for him. And one thing's for sure, he's going to have to scale back on work. Uh, oh, no. No, no, you don't. I can see what you're doing. What are you talking about? You! First sign of weakness and you're in there, aren't you? Taking over. Well, it is not going to happen. No, I want to help him. He's my dad. I know, sorry. Look, he just wants to be the same old Johnny. Same old dad. Yeah, well, I don't know what he wants, do I? Seeing as how he hasn't even talked to me. You don't think maybe he's uh, thinking you might, you know, get married? No. So, I, I, I said to him, nasty little man he was, I said, an ounce here and an ounce there over the course of the year, and where I will have been shortchanged half my body weight in pineapple cubes. Thought it was sherbet lemon. Oh, no, please don't get me even started on sherbet lemons. But... <laughs> uh. Oh, where, 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 where did you get this? Cat got your tongue. Wait, what, 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 what are you doing opening my mail? Well, as it was addressed to both of us, I felt I had the right. She has got a point. No, 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 see, there's a very simple explanation. You've entered us into a Mr and Mrs competition yeah. without my permission. That much is obvious. Yeah, but the, but the point And is, I can only assume that by purloining a photo and entering in secret, you were intending to keep any prize forthcoming to yourself. Oh, no, 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 you've got the wrong end of the stick. Norris, with you, I fear, neither end of the stick would provide me with the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have a sausage casserole that requires my attention. How on earth were you hoping to pull it off? I mean, surely you'd actually have to prove you were a couple. The thing is, in Miami, everyone has a shrink, so it's really not a problem. No, I don't suppose it is. I mean, sometimes it's just good to talk. Mm. Actually, I heard you and your dad talking in the garage earlier, you know, about me and him. Sounded to me like he's had enough. I'm not going to give him up without a fight. So, you know that mood board that you made? Will you come shopping with me? Are you kidding me? my fault. I should have told him sooner. I think it's a good thing. At least now. Everyone knows. All right, son. I'll leave you to chat. It's a bit too late for that, I'd say. I should have told you. He was just trying to protect you. You knew? You told her and not me? Well, I knew that you'd worry about me, about this place. No, no, no. You had hurt in your ear about how I would want to take over this place and kick you out. No, no, I didn't. But this is ridiculous. We should be talking about Dad and how we're going to help him, not... Yeah, well, it seems uh, he doesn't need my help. You know, and uh, congratulations, by the way. I hope you'll be very happy together. Aiden! Aiden! Cheers, mate. Thank you. Excuse me. And would you send a bottle up to room seven, please? Two glasses. No problem. Thanks. happens. Uh, just to let you know, I'm on a call out. It might take a while, so. Oh. Uh, look, I uh, better go, so don't wait up. Oh, Kev, wait. Yeah? I think we need to talk. I think I need to talk. About? About what's happened. To me, I mean. About, you know, how it's made me feel about why I've pushed you away. Anna. No, listen. It must have been awful for you, all of this. And I want us to get back to the way that we were. More than anything. 
And, well, I know that to do that, then I've got to... Well, we've, we've got to talk. <laughs> Seems simple, as you're saying. Yeah, I know. I love you, Kev. I don't want to lose you. Right, well, um... I'll see you later, then. Yeah, yeah, bye. Honestly, don't know what gets into that head of yours sometimes. You'd be putting yourself on blind date next. You must know. I, I was only trying to... Make people believe that you and her were married. Yes, because I thought it would give us a better chance of winning the competition. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Look, the prize is a round-the-world trip. And I thought that, well, she could stop off in South Africa and see Jude and her little grandson. Oh. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying I, I, I wouldn't enjoy an all-expenses-paid holiday, but I saw how upset she was when Jude said he wouldn't be returning to the UK, and I, I thought this would quite make it a bit better, that's all. You're a silly old so-so at times. Try talking to her again. Once she knows why you did it, I'm starting to think I shouldn't have bothered. Hey, see, I think that's the kind of job that really suit me. You know, when I was growing up, we just had one book in our house, and that was a medical encyclopedia. Oh, it was fab, though. I knew every kind of oscopy going. From endo to gastro, laparoscopy, sigmoidoscopy. Right, thank you, Sean. Right, well, I'll just go and uh, relieve Cathy. Huh? No, Eric. No, she's on the tower to make this bite my offer to wine and dine. Oh. Maybe she read your T-shirt. Mm. Hilarious. Hey, yes. Hello. Ah, uh, Jasmine. Oh, I got your message about cancelling the classes. It's such a shame, but there you are. Maybe I can interest you in doing something instead. <gasps> Cake decorating, eh? That'll be right on your street. I'll just have the refund, if that's all the same. No. I'm sorry, I can't. Why? Well, it is in the small print. We have to book tutors. If people decide not to turn up, we still have to pay them. Mm. So no refunds. I only booked it a couple of hours ago. As I said, I'm perfectly happy for you to do something. You let me know. Oh, do have a think about the ukulele. Congratulations on the new job, by the way. Oh, thank you. Must be a flipping fortune they did. Oh, never mind. Hey, I'll take you out for my tea with my first week's wages. What's that? What did I miss? Yeah, uh, nothing. All right. Hey, listen, Liz, uh, I'm sorry to be a pain. Would it be OK to do a bit of measuring up? It's just that Toya's, you know, she's ordering shelves and furniture and all that. Fresh start, you know. Of course. Exciting times. Yeah, it is. I'll take it. Cheers. Hiya. Just had Sally on looking for you. Okay, come sit down. I need to tell you something. Oh. Hayden? I've been there. Uh, I've been walking the streets trying to get my head around it. My dad's ill. Ill? With what? Multiple sclerosis. What? <laughs> no. What does it mean? Is he going to be all right? I don't know. Maybe he could die. What if he dies? Hello? Hi, Johnny. Yeah, come up. I thought maybe you'd fancy watching a film or something. Not really in the mood. I saw Sergeant Clifton, Neil, leaving earlier. Yeah, my mum asked him here. The other day, you said something about him not being who I thought he was. Did I? Don't remember. Yeah. He did. 
What did you mean? I don't even remember saying it, so can you just drop it? In fact, I don't want to talk about any of this anymore, OK? I just can't... I can't handle it right now. We don't have to talk. Suit yourself. You should have told me. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. But listen, I'm going to be fine. It's not going to affect what I do at the factory. And if Jenny's made out like I want to take control, I don't. I couldn't care less about that. Everybody's upset. I just... I just, I just want it to be OK. You know, I'm, I'm going to be a dad and... I don't know what I'm doing. And you do. You know what to do. You know what to say. Listen to me. When the time comes, you're going to know what to do. You just will. And you'll make a much better dad than I ever hoped to be. But I'm going to need you. I've got MS, and there's nothing either of us can do about that. But believe me, I'm going nowhere. Back for a bit. No, I, uh, it was more straightforward than I thought. You look nice. Thanks. Do you want a brew or a drink? No, no, I'm fine, thanks. to the garage to say that I was sorry and I, um, I heard you talking to Rosie. What about? Us. Your unhappiness. I shouldn't have been surprised, not really, but, you know, just hearing you say it out loud, well, it... it made me realise that I could really lose you. I'm sorry. Don't be. I know I've been distant. But, you know, with Faye moving out... I started way before then. Sometimes, you know, it's, it, it's just been, it's been so overwhelming. It's been so exhausting. And I haven't stopped, you know, to think about you and how you've been coping. I mean, not just with my injuries, but, well, with me and how I've been. You've been through hell. Yeah. So have you. It's been so hard. Being constantly rejected. I mean, I never wanted it to matter, but in the end, just did. Oh, no, but it's not too late, is it? It's not too late for us. I want to move on. I want us to move on.
Can I get you another? Uh. Mm -mm. Shall I charge it to your room? No, thanks, sir. Uh, I shan't be staying. You don't get to tell me it doesn't matter who she is. Look, it was only a kiss. It meant nothing. You thought it all out. No. No, I didn't, because before... I didn't want to come back to you because I thought we was done. You didn't want me. And then you called me up. You nearly slept with her. Yeah. But I didn't. I've been so lonely lately, Anna. I lay next to you in bed at night, wide awake, knowing that you're awake too. And yet, I still feel so alone. Yeah, I know that. And I know that you wanted to look somewhere else. Well, I know that's down to me as well. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just trying to explain. Why tell me? Because I want to be honest with you. I love you. I don't want to sleep with other women. But you nearly did. But I didn't. I come back here to you. Because I love you, Anna. We love each other, right? Let's try and move on. Thing is, I don't know if I can. And if you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com slash advice for further information. Next tonight, edging closer to the truth, brand new drama Fearless continues. <laughs>